What is up my Irish Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is kind of the changes and everything that could be coming into Warzone in the kind of small, well, small future, in the coming future and in the future future, a few years to go. So there was actually an article that came out and it was mainly all about uh, Warzone and in this article they talked about the easter eggs, the bunkers, the phones and the computers. So in the game files people have gone through and found that there are animations for the bunker doors to open. Now there is supposedly there should be three different color access keys for these bunkers and there is only currently two in the game and in the article they ask if there is any incoming stuff for the end of season 3 or even the start of season 4 which they basically said that the players have found clues in Verdansk with more characters inbound so for me I feel like these characters are of course operators and they'll definitely be at least maybe a bundle to come in to season 3 to tie it off and probably bring us into uh, season 4 and I feel like there could be maybe four bundles of operators coming in season four now what they will be i don't know i definitely know it won't be uh pri or not price uh soap mctavish he w i feel like he won't come in because they want to keep some players for the next modern warfare modern warfare 2 i'm presuming that's what they're going to be calling it because they called the first one modern warfare so they might as well it seems it's a soft reboot now of course people in Warzone or Verdansk as most people know it by well they know it by Warzone by these bunkers it could be an example of like a testing facility or just a new section where you can go down and fight now of course it could be some easter egg there and is also maybe a new map seemingly coming out named Jorgenstan which seems good I think but I feel like it would be better to do what Fortnite did with every season the world would be like changed maybe get rid of a place or add a new place or rework the map almost completely which is good and it keeps the game new and fresh now what i could see happen is that maybe a nuke goes off and that the bunkers are open and people go in there and the nukes go off and they end up in like Verdan verdansk being changed to yorgistan and or something like that really and truly which wouldn't be half bad i think personally that's kind of how i think they could do it or they could go on the road of advanced warfare did where uh you had basically two maps in one so you'd be playing on the first one and then a, a gas would come in or a nuke would come in and start going across that uh that map and the kind of big gates would open and you run through and then they close and you're playing on a new map which was it was creative but it was kind of stupid at the same time because it was just it made no sense to a multiplayer game really and truly now with both the xbox series x and the ps5 coming out at the end of the year infinity ward has basically confirmed that warzone is going to be on both this generation of consoles which it is now and of course a new generation of consoles which are coming soon this is good and kind of bad for they'll actually have to copy over the warzone that of now and kind of make a lot of tweaks to it to match the specs of both the xbox series x and the ps5 and they also said that the warzone is going to be around for a very very long time so does that mean that once the next COD game, COD 2020 is out, we could see Treyarch work on the Warzone and add some people maybe from their franchise to it? I'm not really sure. I I don't know how I... See, this is kind of hard because I highly doubt that this could happen. And I feel that if Treyarch was to go and make their own version of Warzone, it would just be fairly stupid. Because like, what's the point of Infinity Ward spending so much time creating it? creating warzone and for Treyarch just to come and make their own like blackout 2.2.0 or something like that however i could see sledgehammer games and or raven software come in and look after uh warzone once infinity ward move on to their next cod which i think is like cod 2022 or something like that 
which could be a good idea. I don't think it's going to be 2021 for the for the fact that Treyarch is in now for COD 2020, but they're basically just picking up from where Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games were. So they're going to have their own game, Treyarch, are, and this the COD 2020 will be basically a Treyarch game, but it'll be basically made all by Beanox, Raven Software, and Sledgehammer Games, and of course Treyarch as well. Now, that's what I could see happen is Sledgehammer or Ravensoft software coming in and kind of taking Warzone and kind of maintaining it and everything like that. And then Infinity War can just turn around and go like, hey, we want this in the game. You go do it now. Come back to us and we'll see what it looks like. So they'll definitely be keeping Warzone updated and everything like that. And they'll probably be adding new things. And I also feel that Warzone could have a little things from the Black Ops series and Modern Warfare series. Which would be pretty, pretty fucking cool, to be honest. In my mind, it would be. Because this, like, Warzone has about 50 to 60 million players that have gone on to the game. And it's massive. It's absolutely massive. So, we could easily see people being like, well, this is something that's so massive. What's the point in just ending it, like black or uh, black ops 4 with their uh, blackout now blackout was amazingly good i feel like blackout actually could have been better than warzone if it went free to play of course it didn't you had to buy the you had to buy black ops 4 to have blackout and that was kind of a shame because blackout really really was good it really was good i actually think it was better than what modern warfare's warzone is now but of course it didn't go free to play sadly but i definitely could see uh warzone having a longevity and a long long lum a long life cycle that won't really be going for a good few years now maybe granted it could easily go for three or five years but i can't really see it going huge of course it'll go until uh, the battle royale genre kind of slowly dies away again because it kind of surged up really quickly and then it kind of stopped and now it's gone up on a surge again because of warzone and everything like that but you know i could see i could see the game being really really good i could see uh black ops characters like uh, mason woods bowman hudson rezanoff and all those steiner being put into the game just for the simple fact just to give it some variety and i could see maybe treyarch adding some of their own kind of little maps like raid or standoff or stuff like that into the game which would be cool which would be really really good and i feel like personally that's something they could do so what i think basically what they're going to do is infinity war make it they do it for the year and then because the because Treyarch and Sledgehammer and Raven Software are all together as one. They'll be basically working on the next COD, COD 2020. And once they're done that, Treyarch are going to move away and do their own COD 2021. And then that means that once COD 2021 comes, we could see the majority of or all of Infinity War move to the next COD. Now, of course, they're they're still in the works right now we're making a new cod for 2022 but we could easily see raven software and sledgehammer games then go and take warzone or we could easily see raven software going over to uh infinity war and helping them with their next game and sledgehammer games just doing the warzone which would be pretty cool and it would kind of spread it all evenly so you'll have treyarch with their game they're going to be updating that game and then you have Warzone, which would be updated, say, by Sledgehammer or Raven Software. And then you have Infinity War that are working on their next game, COD 2022. And, you know, everything's kind of spaced out perfectly. You have different developers on different games. And they're not all going to be kind of fucking around with each other and everything like that. But, yeah, that is it. This is really the end of the video, guys. I kind of went on a big rant at the end there. But I kind of just went off off script there and i just kind of needed to because i wanted to say it all 
But yeah, this is the end of the video guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button right beside the like button. There should be a red button that you can hit. It says subscribe. When you hit that, you can hit the notification bell right beside that to stay up to date whenever I upload. Or whenever I go live on this YouTube channel, which is rare. Speaking of live streams, I have a Twitch live stream that I that I live stream to weekly. Link to that will be down in the description below. I live stream numerous games, COD, Warzone, uh, Rainbow, Uncharted, which I'm trying to platinum, trying to platinum all them games. And many more that come out free or that I have. And I also have a Twitter which I manually update to whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on Twitch. And yeah, link to that will be down in the description below as well. You can hit the follow button there. You don't have to hit the notification bell because uh, you don't really need to there. But yeah, that is it guys. Hope you like, favorite and subscribe. And peace.